Hey guys, Jameson here with a quick calculation for adjusting the ratio of a phosphate bath. The maintaining a proper ratio is necessary in order to achieve uh, consistent coating weights and a uniform coating. So today we're going to look at a calcium modified bath, more specifically the Phosdip uh, R2LT. Typically calcium modified baths won't need a ratio adjustment, but if some volume is lost through a leak or an overflow, then this is something you're going to have to consider. Uh, manganese baths can also be adjusted in this way. So if we look at the FOSDIP R2LT technical data sheet, you'll see that the optimum operating ratio is from 8 to 1 to 10 to 1. So today we're going to talk about what happens if your ratio gets below 8 to 1. And basically we're going to use additions of 50% liquid caustic to bring us back into that operating range. So for this product, for every 100 gallons of bath you have, 7.2 fluid ounces of 50% liquid caustic will decrease your total acid and your free acid by one point each, thereby increasing the ratio. So let's take a look at that. Say we do our titrations and we get these numbers. So 5.8 is below our ideal 8 to 1 to 10 to 1. So if we add 7.2 fluid ounces of 50% liquid caustic per 100 gallons of bath solution, we now have, for a new ratio of 6.7, so we're still a little low. Uh, if we make a second add, we're now at 8. So we're at the bottom of the, of the optimum range. Uh, if we make one more add, our numbers will now be 10. So now we're at the upper end of the range. So one option is to only make half an add. So if we added 3.6 fluid ounces of 50% liquid caustic per 100 gallons of bath, we'll now have... 8.8. So this is good, this is in our range. If we look at the tech data sheet, uh, the total acid range is 30 to 50, so that's in spec, and the free acid range is 3 to 5, so that's also in spec. So let's just say we have a 600 gallon tank. make our add of 18 ounces per 100 gallons of bath solution. And this will give us a final add of 108 ounces of 50% liquid caustic. You're going to want to dilute that uh, addition in water before you actually put it in the tank and then make sure you stir well and you're not going to want to make that add while you're processing parts. So for titration procedures and further information, you can look at the technical data sheet. And if you have any further questions, feel free to contact us here at the Technical Center. The number is 413-452-2000. Thanks for watching.